Hi there, Stephanie again with another Cabbage Patch doll repair video. Uh, today we're going to be working on the uh, knee dimple and the back of the knee. So you need a fairly long uh, piece of thread because you're going to be doing both at the same time. And um, again, I'm not certain of the needle size. This was something in my cross stitch stash. Uh, I, I will um, go to the store uh, soon though and see if I can find something comparable so I can give, I can add the um, the information in, in the notes section of this video. So tying off the knot, I think I go through it about four or five times. You want to make sure that your knot is, is large enough so that it doesn't go through the fabric when, when you're pulling on, on the knee dimple because you are going to pull fairly tight. You want that to maintain. So uh, make sure that your needle is big enough or your knot is big enough and um, as I mentioned in my previous video, I'm not leaving myself enough of a tail. I think just going forward now, any repair that I do, I'll automatically give myself at least a couple of inches at the at the other end of that knot, just in case I need it. So it doesn't hurt. So I'm just going through uh, looking at, at the other knee just to, to compare and looking for the original holes that were um, created. So if you, uh, sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can't. If you have them there, it, it's always best to follow them because that's um, a lot easier. So I'm just going through one side and then uh, poking it through the other, trying to make sure that it matches the other knee. Sometimes um, it may not be perfect, but um, as long as it looks balanced, you're okay. Now for this one, I think I wanted to go through the original, but it, it didn't quite uh, match up. So I may have created my own hole here, uh, which is fine. So going through um, on the other side of it, again, using the table as my thimble, um, something that I will need to pick up. And if you try this technique, although it does work, please make sure you take your time with it and don't poke your fingers um, it is easy to do if you uh, if you aren't paying attention. Those needles are sharp, so uh, be careful. So you want to pull that tight and go through a second time because you want to maintain that tautness. Um, and if you were to go ahead and just work the back of the knee right now, th that whole area would would probably be a lot looser. So um, you want to go in and you're going through on the other side, uh, the back of the knee. So. I'm not going through where um, that other uh, dimple hole was. I'm going through, I'm starting the back of the knee this way. So by doing it like this, I'm maintaining that tautness in the knee dimple and coming out on the side. And it's just on the edge there. You can see there's what, maybe about an inch. Um, and uh, pull it as tight as you think it needs to be. Uh, you can You can play that by ear. We all have Cabbage Patch dolls uh, that we can use as a guide. So, um, And you just want to wrap that around, uh, around the back of the knee and uh, make sure that it matches the other so that, that it's even. And we'll go through on the side. And we, in this instance, you can go through um, the same hole. If you can, if you can get it through the same hole, then all the power to you. I, I try, but um, it doesn't always work out with my uh, table as a thimble method. So, so as long as you get it as close as you can to the original, there, um, you'll be fine, because you're going to wrap that knee around twice. Um, just to make sure that it stays there. So again, be careful if you do this method and just pull it through. Now this gets a little tricky in that we're going to wrap the back of the knee a second time here just to maintain that tautness. It, it, it does help uh, to keep the stitches in place. And um, here I'm, I'm going through just next to the original hole, not quite um, through the same. And then going through a new hole here on the other side. And then I'll show you what I mean by it gets a little tricky. And, and it reminds me of um, when you're tying your shoelaces. So when you, if you want your shoelaces to be 
um, tight. You start from the bottom and you work your way up. So for this, I'm pulling through and I'm I, I'm ready to make my knot here, but I want to make sure that everything is even and and that those two threads uh, for the back of the knee lay um, lay flat and they're not twisted because it, it I mean it just doesn't look nice. So so if you just if I were to pull that thread right now, I'll just pull the last. Um, uh, thread that I wound and what I need to do is figure out where my original one is and where the new one which one is the new one and pull that one so I get the original thread taut and then I can pull my thread and get the second one so it's just a little tricky it takes you know it takes a few moments to to work it out and um, and now I'm just going to create that knot at the end of at the end of my uh, stitching and again using my fingernail holding that in place as I pull it uh, slowly just to make sure that the knot is as close to um, the fabric as I can get it because if you were to just have the knot um, you know a few millimeters away from it, um, it the stitch will loosen up so you want to get that as close as you can and uh, three or four times just make it depends on the size of your thread um, if you're using a DMC, usually when I use a DMC, I'd use like a three ply and um, it, it may take a few more instances of tying that up. So there you go. There's the dimple and the back of the knee finished. Now I'm just taking a look here, making sure that it feels right and comparing it to the original. And I'm noticing that I don't like the original. So I'm looking at that and I notice that it's loose. So I finished up uh, the same one. Or, or the, the, the other knee, and I finished up um, tying that. So now they match, and they're just as tight as the other. So uh, there's the, um, the holes that are, that are close to the fabric and matching back of the knees. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video, and it helps you um, in your cabbage patch uh, repair adventures. If you have any questions, please drop me a, a comment, and uh, thanks so much for watching.